Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Insufficient Friends. I'm Kevin. She is Stevie. Hi. And uh, how was your week, Steve? It was good. We actually, um, it was our friends, Nick and Kira's birthday recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a bunch of us just got dinner like on like Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. We went to Flat Branch. And okay. guess, just guess what Nick got. I mean, it, it, it would have been... Probably chicken tenders, mac nope. and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese. Yeah, mm. I didn't know if they had mac and cheese, so that would that would have been the <laughs> that would have made sense. Um, Literally, as soon as he said it, I was like, "I'm bringing this up on the podcast." Oh Just, yeah, I hope you know. I mean, the kid doesn't eat anything. <laughs> like, I mean, he eats things, but not not a not a big variety of things, which is just yes. amazing to me. And he doesn't try anything. Which <laughs> I don't get. Um, if it ain't broke, was, don't fix it. I disagree with that. <laughs> um, Especially when it comes to food, because I think there's so many foods you can try. But uh, did you guys have fun? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was nice. Good. See um, I, so last week we talked about Everest. Mount Everest, yep. Mm -hmm. the and one of the, one of the guys that I work with, Tom, mm -hmm. I've told you about Tom. Yeah. He recommended a movie that is about, a, like a documentary type movie about a, a, a group that or a family member that tried to go get somebody off the mountain who had died. Oh gosh. It's on Hulu apparently and it's called Finding Michael, I believe. Mm -hmm. But he said it was very very good. A very good a very something that w you should watch. Okay. Now, going back to things we should watch. I, okay, by the look of your face, I can tell I that just, you did not I watch. I just remembered. I just Dr. remembered Rachel. we were supposed to watch things. Cuz I watched Oh no. Right over me. I'm sorry. I, I so think the now. day after we recorded this, <sighs> and it was very good. I'll, I'll, it was very good. It's sad. It is it's very good. sad, but Wait. it is very good. Um, God, I suck. <laughs> I just remember that I had every like. You I had, had every, every intention. Every intention to watch it. It's this week it's, just got away from me. <laughs> okay. Oh, speak. Yeah. Well, sorry. Continue your no, thought. But no, I, go ahead. So yesterday, mm -hmm. I. Yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, by the way. Also, We're recording it on Saturday, so yesterday yeah, was okay. Cinco de Mayo. Yesterday was, yep, Friday the 5th, mm -hmm. May 5th, and my college does this fun little thing called Stop Day. I'm sure every college does it, and it's basically mm -hmm. like the last day that would be like the last day of class before your finals. last finals, yeah. and it's called like reading day, but you just don't have any class. It's like meant to like study. Mm -hmm. Well, Everybody yeah. drinks. Everybody yeah, it's, just it's big goes drinking. around yeah. town and drinks, and it's a fun thing. I didn't get to go last year. I worked all day. I didn't plan it out very well, and mm -hmm. I had the worst FOMO. So I was like, "I'm going this year," and I was like, "We're making a plan." And for some reason, I'm an online student, so I don't really, I don't really know the school schedule that well. I don't. Yeah. You know, I know when my finals and my exams are, but it, it's different than mm -hmm. in class students. So something in my mind just told me that the 11th next Friday was stop day. Yeah. And okay. all my friends were. Like, we had, like, a group message, and we were texting about, okay, at 10, let's come over, and, like, let's have mimosas. Like, we we're going to make a whole day thing. We'll take pictures. It'll be fun. It's our last stop day. Like, it's a kind mm -hmm. of a big deal, and I was getting yeah. so excited. And I wake up uh, at 9 a.m. We're supposed to be getting mimosas at 10. I wake up at 9 a.m. planning to go work out. I had plans yesterday. Like, yeah. I had a ton of stuff I was going to do. Yeah, we were going to record podcasts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And um, instead, I got a text at 9 of one of my friends in the group message saying like, happy stop day. Let's go. Let's do this. And I was like, uh Oh, I thought this was next week. So <laughs> at first I just am like, count me out. I won't be there. Like yeah. I have too much going on today. It's fine. I, you know, whatever. It's just one day. And they were all like, no, you're coming. And so I said, that's, that's good. That, I, I mean, know. you, you need, you, good you, friend. you, I have yeah. great friends. You should have done that. That's and, but my first thing was like, Oh, I have to record my podcast at three. Like that's in the middle of the day. I can't show up to Kev's after, yeah. After stop day events, <laughs> I'll be... Oh, I don't know. It would have been comical. It, it probably would have been. But I was just like, I'm not... I can't do that. So I text you and we got to reschedule. Yeah. So, but speaking to that point, yeah, this week had a lot of turns of events that I wasn't expecting. So that's my excuse for not watching Dr. Strangelove. Okay. You didn't have a couple just hours. Just like two, from me. two hours. Okay. Nope. And I was... I did a... I went to a class that our friend Nikki and another um, girl who works at the bank was teaching on like financial education for women that mm -hmm. went until like almost eight o'clock okay. on Tuesday and I helped with that. So I was there and then. I mean, it's not a big deal. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was just doing other stuff. I don't I know. I just have to get you to watch it this week so that okay. we can talk about it uh, next week, I guess. Okay. So, but I did like Rain Over Me. Yes. I will tell you Talk that. about that. Um, It was, it was very good. It was not, I mean, you said it was a sad movie. So, and 
I mean, Adam Sandler did a great job mm-hmm. in that role. I, I'm used to seeing him in like Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore and things like that, which are right. really stupid comedies, but mm-hmm. I love them. But it, he did a really good job with that of playing like basically just a person in in deep depression. Yes, and it was it was very good. Yeah. Um, Without giving, I would any... recommend it yeah. to pretty much anybody to go mm-hmm. see. Without um, giving any spoilers, is it weird to see Adam Sandler in that role, like a very mm, serious? I. I don't think so. I mean, I don't. No, I don't think so. Okay. I like Adam Sandler for the most part. I don't. I don't have any problems against him. I or I don't have any problems with him at all. Um, I. But I've seen a lot of actors that do different things, and it's never really bothered me when people go from one thing to another when I see them in different mm-hmm. things. Like, well, that's good. I mean, you don't typecast people. No, I like Tom Hanks a lot, and mm-hmm. Tom Hanks has done both comedies and and serious mm-hmm. serious roles. So, um, and my uncle listened to well, he listens every week. He usually mm-hmm. listens when he's working and things. I think, but, um. He and he recommended. Uh, he sent me like eight recommend movie recommendations. For movies, yes. yeah. So, uh, and they range anything from like Hitchcock to to a bunch of other things. So it's it. I mean, it sounds like we're gonna have to <laughs> start watching more movies. <laughs> the only thing about Doctor Strangelove is I don't, and I mean you probably had the same thing with Rain Over Me. It's not on anything, so I will have to buy it, but that's fine. Well, Rain Over Me was on Netflix, I think. It, or something. It oh, was. no, it was on Tubi. That's what I watched it oh, on. Oh, it was on Tubi? Which, by the way, this is this is the one thing, and I, I knew it was free, which is fun, mm-hmm. which is great. I loved it being free. That was very nice that I didn't have to buy it. I did not realize how out of watching commercials I had got until I oh watched that God, movie. Oh, my God, right? Because I... The main things that I will, I don't watch a lot of TV. Mm-hmm. I watch mostly, um, H- I watch a lot of stuff on HBO. I watch more YouTube channels than mm-hmm. anything. But I have started for the past almost a year now, I have started paying for mm. YouTube to not have commercials because they just annoyed me so much of, um, they would pop up at random times in the middle of things. And they just started annoying me. Mm-hmm. And I looked up the price to do YouTube without without it. And it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. And it also comes with the uh, YouTube music, oh. so, which I don't have any other music service. So I was like, okay, well, that's two birds, one stone. And so I got it. And I guess I didn't realize how, how commercials, <laughs> yeah, how much of a thing they TV were. He definitely has commercials. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, you know, place got to make money. But mm-hmm. I just didn't realize how out of custom I was to watching commercials. Because when they came on, I'm like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? <laughs> when are we going to get back I to I know, the and there's no skipping on no. Tubi. It's not an option. Which I mean, that, like I said, they got to make money. And if yeah. you skip all the commercials, you think they're not really making, getting the point across. But yeah. Um, yeah, but it was a good movie. Now we just need to get you to watch Dr. Strange. Is there anything else that you, what should I watch for next week? So you're going to watch Dr. Strangelove. What do you think I should watch for next week? Might have to... Or I may use one of my uncle's ones, too. Come back to me. That. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, this is not free on anything. Which... What is not? Dr. Strangelove? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's okay. I will probably... I'm going to try to, like, watch it today, just so I don't have anything. Yeah. Like, otherwise, I'll probably forget. Yeah. That's, I'll, I can text you in the middle of the week if that helps, too. Okay, go You're ahead and do, do that. that. Just in case I don't watch it today. It's like on, on Tuesday or Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. I know you'll remember. Um, Yeah, because I thought about texting you yesterday about it, or, or Thursday about it, to see if you, yeah. if you had watched it. Yeah, Thursday, I should have watched it. Oh, well, so Thursday, we just like, Will and I just randomly decided to go get dinner Thursday mm-hmm. night, which mm-hmm. also wasn't really, like, we kind of talked about it, but I wasn't sure. So that was another thing, and I was just like... Probably could have watched it then, but just stuff kept I mean, coming up. Yeah, it's so you live your maybe life. text it me. Is what it is. Because right. even if you texted me Thursday, I would. I, when would I have watched it? Yeah, I I don't know. So anyway, I'll try to watch it this week. What uh, what else is going on, Steve? Anything else going? On? Did you? 
So this morning, mm-hmm. did, I'm guarantee you I know the answer to this question. I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. Were you up early enough and or did you watch the coronation for the new king of the UK? I, I didn't know that was happening today. didn't know that was happening. I was up pretty early. So yesterday I fell asleep around 4.30 p.m. Okay. Because I had a long day. Yeah. And well, woke up around. very much a sleep anywhere type person, I know. Oh, no, I was home. I, okay. I requested to be taken home, but oh, okay. I would just, my friends were like, you're going home? Like, if I don't take a nap, no one's going to want to hang out with me. So <laughs> I went home. The plan was like, oh, I'll sleep for an hour. So, no, I slept till about 9 p.m. And then, yeah. And then got up and I was so hungry because I'd barely eaten all day. Ate dinner and stayed up until like one or two, mm-hmm. and then got probably another like four-ish hours of sleep. Like I was, I was up, but no, I did not know that was happening today. Okay, I, I did get up. Have probably watched it. I did get up. Um, I didn't make a point to get up mm-hmm. early enough to watch it. Yeah, I got you up work today. Yeah, I did work at the bank today. Um, I got up though. I mean, I went to bed when I was tired yesterday, and and I got up this morning when I wasn't tired anymore. Yeah. So when I got up, that works. When I got up, I was uh, I turned on the TV just to see if it. I knew it was still on, but I just to see where it was. And I watched for from a little before when they actually crowned him king to basically when the procession started, when the when the ceremony was over. So and it was interesting. I mean, I. You know, it was something to see because it's it hasn't happened in seventy plus years. Mm-hmm, that's um, true. But I mean, it was interesting for sure. Good. Um, there's a lot of pageantry to it for sure, but there wasn't anything that I I, I didn't need to watch it. It was just on, so I or right. I turned it on because it was happening, and it's mm-hmm. just one of those historical. Th- you know, I'm kind of one of those type people that it was something historical that's interesting to see that. Yeah. I I mean, who knows the next time we'll see it, you know. I mean, I don't, it won't be another 70 years because mm-hmm. he's not going to live to be 140. But, right. But the idea is it's not a real common thing that happens. So. Definitely. It's the only time you've seen it in your lifetime. It's the only time a lot of people have seen it in their lifetime because it hasn't happened since the, what would that be, the 40s or 50s, something like that. I mean, I don't remember when she, when Queen Elizabeth II was coronated. I mm-hmm. obviously wasn't alive. Right. Um, so you weren't? <laughs> contrary to popular belief, I'm not that old. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but other than that. You enjoyed that, though? I thought it was interesting. That's something. It's, it's just something interesting. And I'm, I'm. Yeah. Culture and history and things like that interest me. I mean. That's. The, he was, you know, when you're, when he's when he's getting crowned and things like that, you know, that the, the coronation chair that he was sitting in is, you know, a, a couple, a hundred and something years old. Like mm. the crown wow, is, cool. is several, you know, several hundred years mm-hmm. old. Like it's just a lot of history that you're witnessing. Mm-hmm. So it's something along those lines. And, and you don't see events to that with that kind of scale and pageantry and it very often. So, I don't feel like anyway. Oh, no. I would agree. You do like history. I'm starting to get... Recently, I've been getting a little more into it. Um, Will showed me this YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And it's this guy... The, the name the name of the channel is like Sam Onella. And um, he... I know it's kind of like a bit. But <laughs> he does like these cartoons. And he just talks about really random niche little things that happened all throughout time. Okay. Yeah. And it's a lot of it's like... You know, he cites, he cites the sources. There's usually multiple sources on a person that existed. But um, he also gets, like, hospital, you know, documents from hospitals that have from the 1800s that mm-hmm. he can kind of be like, okay, so this was a real person. Yeah. And some of the stuff is so crazy. And it just always reminds me that I'm such – I'm nothing. I'm nothing in this huge world that's been around for so long. Yeah. So much stuff is happening. We're so insufficient. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I think everybody has a, has a role, but yes, yeah. I get what you're saying. Cause there is, it's hard to fathom sometimes the things, you know, like when you go, when you look at pictures of, um, the pyramids oh or my gosh. the Coliseum or something, and you it's think that they're fathom. thousands and thousands of thousands of years old, like that's insane. Um, Cleopatra was closer to the invention of the iPhone than she was to the building of the pyramids. Mm-hmm. 
That just that sentence blows my mind every time I think about it. We're, um, I think it was I, I believe the the dinosaurs, if I remember correctly, the dinosaurs were around so long that the T Rex is closer to us in time span mm-hmm. than the T Rex is to the first dinosaurs that existed. God, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Which is crazy. I'm, I I hate to think about that. <laughs> it's weird. Isn't it? It's, it it's, and just it's... the fact that even before the dinosaurs, mm-hmm. this earth, and this is very, this is getting a little existential, but like some atoms, some molecules got mixed with some chemicals billions of years ago. And now I have to have a job. I just, <laughs> the way that the world has evolved is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. But. It's, it's, it is crazy. Like when you think about everything that's happened in the span of the universe mm-hmm. or that could be happening in the span of the universe or anything else, it's, it's insane. Do you believe in aliens? I don't know. Okay. I don't know enough to give a, an opinion on that. I don't think any of us do, truly. I. I think it's hard to fathom that there's, with the almost infinite expanse of the universe, that there's not some other living, something else living somewhere. Whether or not it is to an intelligent level mm-hmm. is another thing. So I I think it's hard to say. And there's a lot of theories on Oh on, yeah. Well, on I mean that, that could be stuff, but that could be an entire podcast that um, I needed to But yeah. Series. I don't I don't know. That's that's a difficult one. I I think like I said, I think it's hard to I think it's hard to say that there's not right. something. I hope that there is. But, but it's hard to it's hard to know. Right. Yeah, I don't know. That's we're we're in a weird weird I, area for this podcast. I know, we never really go here. Do you does the space scare you at all? No, not really. Does the ocean scare you? Some of the things in the ocean scare me, like especially when you get like, have you ever, you've seen pictures of the like um, anglerfish and things like oh, yeah. that, the like ones with the big teeth and like the uh, little yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those things scare the crap out of me. But um, I don't. I mean, it's not necessarily. But that's also another thing is like. Some scientists say we don't know as much about... We know more about space than we do about the ocean. And that is which terrifying. Which is weird. That's, dis- that's disgusting. That's um, actually gross. That's weird, though, considering that space is so vast and the ocean is just... It's here. Here. Which is... And we've been to what we know of as the bottom of it, like, a couple times. Well, but in one part... Well, yeah, but that's the only part that's the bottom. Like, there's only a small section. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I mean, the Marianas Trench is supposedly the deepest part of the ocean. It's not that big of an area. Like, it's a long area, but it's not like as expansive as the rest of the ocean. Is it? Is two thirds of the Earth water? I think something like that. Yeah. That's so. How how could we have explored it all? Oh, there's no way. Exactly. Because it's, it's, it's so deep in a lot of places that you can't get there, and right. there's, it's almost and, impossible. And how many people are really out here going... Well, we haven't deep, explored We haven't explored all of... Deep I mean, diving. we haven't explored every inch of all the land. Right. So how would we have gotten to so, all the water? So there's too? probably species we don't know about. Oh, yeah. We're, there's always new species that are being found and things. Like, it, it happens Ugh. on a somewhat regular basis. I'm very scared of the ocean. Like, not the beach, but, yeah. like, I, would, I don't think, like... Deep sea anything is ever in my future. I used to be really, really. Well, we talked about like I would want to go to the Titanic if I had the ability, right? Which is kind of, which is one of those deep sea. I yeah. mean, it's down a couple miles, and you have no no interest. No, yeah. I never even watched the full movie. <laughs> you never watched the Titanic no. the movie, the Titanic. No, I've watched like blips. Like I know the whole thing. I feel like I've seen it. Well, I think everybody it's knows a the long, premise. Long, long movie. I've never watched that's the whole the, thing. That's that's I mean. <laughs> Right, exactly. I know what happens. Like, no, don't want to give any spoilers, but I know what happens with the Titanic. Yeah. Um, no, I know the whole like Jack and Rose. I know their mm-hmm. storyline. Yeah. And I've like just seen so many. Parts Have you just of it, not but... interested you enough to? I mean, you. I don't. I 
can't tell if you're a movie person or not. You don't seem like a movie person, but you talk about how you kind of like, like you want to watch all of the hundred movies yeah. in the. Un- well, I've seen a lot of movies. I, I, I know compared to you, I haven't. But I think like, and this could be my generation, attention spans are so screwed up nowadays because I'm so used to just like scrolling on my phone and watching yeah. a couple, you know, second to minute long video. And if it sometimes like sometimes I don't even have the energy to watch like a 15 minute video on YouTube because my brain, it just can't handle it. So I have to really, really be in a good mood to watch a movie. Hmm. But I mean, I grew up, I mean, my dad showed me a lot of movies growing up. I've yeah. seen a pretty good amount. And because I have seen so many movies that I love and appreciate, I'm always going to be willing to like keep watching them mm-hmm. contrary to this podcast and you telling me to watch movies that I've never watched. I do in like I appreciate movies. Okay. Um but I'm I don't know if you, I consider myself a movie person. The movies that I love, I'm very passionate about though. And I'm a movie rewatcher. I know some people are like I depend not on the movie. about that life, but I, I will watch movie. a movie 3 times in one day. I've done it. I don't I don't rewatch a lot of movies. I'll rewatch some of the same movies around Christmas time because there's certain Christmas movies that I like to watch. But mm-hmm. I'm not a huge movie rewatcher, um, especially nowadays where I don't have like regular television to where mm-hmm. I can just where there's movies just playing on a channel. Yeah. Um, I will rewatch some. I would say on average, I probably watch nowhere near as much as a big movie person. So I wouldn't call my I don't know if I'd call myself a big movie person, mm-hmm. but I would say I watch probably on average one movie a week. Yeah. One to two movies a week. Like that's about it. That's probably I don't know. See like for me that's a lot because I just don't it just depends. But some yeah. days I watch I've watched last weekend I watched like four movies within a, the weekend. Oh, the, so the it just depends. The biggest movie binge I ever went on was I watched all the Harry Potter movies in one day once. Yeah, I think I think we knew that. Yeah. I don't know if I've talked about it on here or not, but yeah. I'm getting deja vu. Uh, I mean, it, we, I know we've talked about I knew it. Before, I knew but that. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know if they if knew that. <laughs> listeners have 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 heard that, but not that it matters if they have. We, you can always revisit things, but we're still a little new to be revisiting mm-hmm. too much. But this is kind of a hodgepodge. We've gone all this over episode? the place. Yeah, this is honestly how our conversations normally go. It is. They never go back. Like, what did we even? We were talking about the ocean space yeah i don't know we kind of gone all over the place are you okay how do you feel about like fish and creatures in the ocean are you like whatever i'm not scared of them do you like them i don't know indifferent really yeah i guess i'm kind of indifferent i don't really care because i I used to be when i was younger i went some of them that are pretty yeah that's a good point when i was younger i went through like a phase, and I still like them, but I was like obsessed with sharks. Like I had books, and sharks. I would watch videos of them, and they were they're scary, they're jarring. But I like knew all the different types of sharks. My grandparents got me like little like mini shark yeah. figures, like of all the different kinds, and I just like loved learning about sharks. I feel like that's a very common one, sharks okay. like that. I feel, but I feel like it is. It's it's like when you're a kid, it's like sharks or dinosaurs. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. You're like very like there's there's a few things that kids like get really mm-hmm. invested in learning about, mm-hmm. and then for some reason they just go down like a kind of like what you would consider a rabbit hole now, and they just kind of learn as much mm-hmm. as they can about it. And it's I feel like sharks and dinosaurs are two two really common ones. That's funny. Yeah, I could see that. I was definitely a shark girl. Did you like the movie Jaws? I did. Okay. It's like I. I respect it because the technology back then wasn't up to par. And I always like watching older movies where they have to do like, they have to kind of make things look realistic that clearly aren't like shark attack or like yeah. aliens or anything that you would do like CGI nowadays. Mm-hmm. I always respect that because I know they were really having to work hard. Oh yeah. But it, it is, the quality's not Bruce, great. <laughs> Bruce, didn't, Bruce didn't work right. That's why you don't see him for most of the movie. Oh, the shark. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce didn't work very well at all. Like he did, he was supposed to have so much more movement, so many other things that he was oh, supposed to be able to that. do. He was a piece of junk, and that's why you don't see him until like 
the very almost end. the end of the movie, mm-hmm. and even when you do see him, it's not very much. Yeah. So yeah, he there's there's whole th- stories and things on just the the pain that that shark was to deal with. And because of that, of course, I give them mad props. But mm-hmm. it, yeah, it's not the greatest quality shark movie I've ever seen in my life. No, but it's a classic. Yeah, and I get yeah. that, and I get it. Okay. I like when the ladies like this is so niche. I'm sorry, guys. When the when the wife um they get like the they get the oh gosh I'm gonna screw this up. There's like a couple. It's like the main character, and then they get they bring in that guy with the glasses who's gonna like help them find mm-hmm. the shark. Yeah. And when the wife first meets him, she's like, "So you're in sharks?" And I don't know why, but I just think that's so such a silly thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that little part. Okay. <laughs> Okay. That's not everyone's favorite quote from that movie, or the iconic one is "We're gonna need a bigger boat." But you're mine gonna, is "You're gonna need a bigger boat." Mine yeah. is "Oh, so you're in sharks?" <laughs> it's so funny, like <laughs> you're in sharks. Uh, yeah. That's a good. I I like I like a lot of Steven Spielberg movies. That's that Steven was, Spielberg. I'm pretty sure that was Steven Spielberg. Um, you know, I liked. Uh, um, yeah, Steven Spielberg. What else did he do? Name. Um, I know it's probably Indiana well. Jones. Nope. Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Um, Hook. Did you watch Hook? Uh-uh. You ever seen Hook? No, it's, it's Peter the, Pan. It's though, the Robin right? Williams Peter. Yeah, Robin maybe, Williams. Maybe, maybe, yeah, live action. Where he's like older. Yeah. Yeah, maybe um, when I was younger, but I don't really. That remember was a pretty. It. I mean, I don't. That one. Flopped. Yeah, it didn't really do. I like it. Um, it was supposed to be a lot more grandiose than I think what it ended up being, but it was, I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, Steven Spielberg, that was done of, um, E.T. Okay. He's, so he's in the sci-fi slash like creature. He likes scary things, scary creatures, sharks, aliens. Yeah. I mean, he's done other things though. Um, Schindler's List was, uh, Steven Spielberg. Um, I don't remember. I always get that mixed up with, um, I recently watched, not that recently, but, oh, Inglorious Bastards, which, which is the one, which is the one with Brad Pitt? Is that Inglorious Bastards? Have you seen that? I don't remember if it was Schindler's um, List or. Well, those, I mean, Inglorious Bastards, yeah, was, um, was Brad Pitt, I believe. Brad Pitt was in that. I think I saw that. Quentin Tarantino, did he do that? Um, I want to say yes, but I'm not entirely okay. sure. Then that's the one I've seen, and I don't know why I always Tarantino. I like Tarantino too. Oh yes, that, yeah, that is Quentin Tarantino. He was the writer, but yeah, and he was one of the directors. Him and Tim Burton. I think I've seen most of their movies more than any other director. Tim Burton has done my Tim some Burton of my all time favorite movies. I, I really like Tim Burton. Um, yeah, Spielberg also did um, Minority Report. Um. West Side Story. Um, yeah, he's done a number of a ton of movies. So, yeah. Our our insufficient friends, you guys, comment or text us. Let us know your some of your favorite directors. I'm curious. Yeah, that'd be interesting to know who, what your guys. I think I know like some of my friends. Some like my dad. I could probably guess. Wells, but I, I always like to talk about that. Even though we just went over that, maybe I'm not a movie person. I do I do have a lot of respect for movies, and I, I do like you know getting into the kind of the grit of like what goes into making a movie. And I have a lot of respect for directors, and I like that aspect of things. I feel like it was a lot cooler like ten, twenty, even thirty years ago. But I still obviously have a respect for it now. Yeah. I mean, it's just different how they do it now. Mm-hmm. And just a lot of my favorite movies, I mean, granted, I'm not seeing a lot of new movies, but are, they're all older. I, I, one of the girls I work with, we were talking about this the other day, because mm-hmm. she, somebody, rec- she's, I don't think at all a movie, like even less of a movie person than you are. Um, and she made the comment, somebody recommended a movie to her, mm-hmm. and it was, and she looked it up and her immediate comment was oh it's from 2015 it's a little older and i'm like what are you talking about yeah that's definitely not a movie person older 
2015? No, that I would consider that actually quite recent. New. Yeah. Very recent. Yeah. I I was I was audibly gasped. Yeah, I don't blame you. This could be a whole nother episode, and honestly, we might have to make it one because I actually have a lot to say, like to say about movies in the 70s and the 80s like i i like to talk about that stuff and kind of mm-hmm. compare them and talk about well why why was it why were they so good in the 70s versus and then in the 90s was kind of a resurgence and whatever but we could really get more into that but maybe another time yeah i uh have you ever and I, I bet i know the answer to this but i'm gonna ask anyway okay. um have you ever watched uh westworld not the show the movie i did like the show which was on HBO for a while. It's not anymore. I think it's on Roku channel now because it's like the last couple seasons didn't do well. But no. um, the movie, the original movie was a Michael Crichton movie, which is the same guy that wrote Jurassic Park, um, came out in the 70s. And it's it's very interesting. And now it doesn't, I mean, if you watch it now, it looks like it came out a long time ago. Yeah. But it was still a good movie. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to recommend that you watch it because it you know won't, how that ever, goes. won't ever happen. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's stick with one at a time. <laughs> um, yeah. How long have I been trying to get Nikki to watch uh, Tommy Boy? It's been a while. Since you've known her, I'm yeah. sure. It's been a while. So that still hasn't happened. That's nope. been at least three years of the making. Yeah, I'm surprised. I bet he just forgot, but... I saw my dad today. I'm surprised he hasn't given me movie recommendations. But he, honestly, a lot of his favorite movies I've already seen. Yeah, that would make sense. I think I've seen most of my dad's favorite. My dad is very much a, a rewatcher of movies. Yeah. And won't go out of his way to watch very many new ones on a mm-hmm. ever. I also don't. I don't. Perf- I don't really like watching movies with my family. I love them, but if the second there's anything, and I'm 22 years old, but the second anything comes on screen that is slightly like awkward, awkward, sexual, mm-hmm. I'm I'm asleep. I'm acting like I'm asleep, <laughs> and they'll never know. I they probably do know, but we'll never co- we'll never talk about it. We'll never converse about that part. I can understand that. I can under. It's weird with your parents, yeah. But you know, I I can I can understand that. It makes me, like, so uncomfortable. And I feel bad because, like, no one's doing anything wrong. It's just a movie. But I watched um, The Graduate with mm-hmm. my dad. It's, yeah. such, it's a great movie. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah. With Mrs. Robinson? Yeah. And I just, and I literally, my dad was like, pick a movie. And, like, we kind of, because it was on the AFI Top mm-hmm. 100. And he was like, pick one we haven't seen. I'm like, great. I'm going to look through, like, we had, like, five picked out. Mm-hmm. I looked up every single one and tried to pick the one that just based off of, like, the you thought would have the less like the less, least, least amount of likely. like sexual yeah. weird awkward stuff and it probably had the most yeah oh yeah the it's an entire is, movie yeah. about mm-hmm. spoiler alert it's a entire movie about a mom trying to like yeah. and this boy who just graduated trying to like hook up basically mm-hmm. yeah. and you know my dad's like we're all we're all adult the adults here it's fine you know whatever and my dad would make comments like oh this is a little more like risque than i thought and i just can't, i <laughs> hated it i was like my skin was crawling <laughs> Like, it's just so, like, you watch it and you're like, are they watching this part? Like, ugh, yeah. weird. I just don't I, like I it. I understand. I can understand that. Um, I, <laughs> I can understand that. I watch, I mean, I haven't watched a movie with my family in a while, so it's not. And my family never really watched those types of movies. My, mm. my, we always watched most, most of what my dad watched was comedies. It yeah. wasn't, it wasn't usually anything. I mean, which The Graduate is a little bit of a comedy, but um, it's it's not. I don't know. We never really watched that kind of stuff, so. Uh, I'm I'm envious. <laughs> most of what I remember seeing was, uh, yeah, the most the most, I guess not risque, but the most adventurous thing mm-hmm. that I remember seeing a lot as a kid was a lot of cuss words. A lot of customers. Yeah, and that that and doesn't bother me. That yeah. does not bother me. No, because but it's 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 a, just a word. But someone could like smirk a weird way in a movie and i'm like oh god oh god oh god i'm not paying attention i'm not looking i promise like i'm gonna get on my phone and act like i don't know what's going on <laughs> uh yeah i i doesn't that does not surprise me at all <laughs> that does not surprise me at all because i've i've seen the way you act in some other in situations so i i doesn't surprise yeah. me yeah that's i don't what would you call that like because i get kind of weirded out if people like i don't know 
like when we're in like a group of people and yeah. someone like says like almost like an innuendo, uh-huh. I just get like red in the face. Oh, I know. What I've, is that I've called? Noticed. Like I, I'm bashful. I guess I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. And I don't like when I'm with my friends. I'm not you, like that. Like I've my seen close. You in both situations. So I've because I've seen you with the same people uh-huh. be that way and not be that way. So I don't okay. know because I have and I don't know if if it. I don't know what it is. Was there? More I think there was liquor involved, involved in one. Yeah, I think there was more liquor in the one where you were not as not as let loose. Problem. Yeah, and then oh, that's funny. The other one, you we ha- you you weren't as liquored up, so it was a little bit. Well, I feel and like our group of friends is like they're my friends outside of work. None of us hardly even work together anymore. But at one point, they were like my professional relationship so yeah. that is still a little like some people in that friend group i'm like oh this is like weird but when i'm with like my friends from high school there's none of that there's no filter it's well, yeah that makes sense there. so i'm not like that all the time but yeah. it's with around certain people i'll be very bashful yeah it's like i don't i'm i'm i feel like oh i'm still a kid i shouldn't know what that means i'm gonna act like i don't know what that means and i'm fully 22 years old yeah <laughs> yeah just that's... Get embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay well on that note i think that is a uh that is an interesting place to end for this week so uh um episode 13 12 like, what is this episode 12 13 i don't remember oh gosh okay well yeah i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out eventually but uh we'll uh hope you guys enjoyed have fun this week um and uh we'll talk to you next week bye